Right? No. <laughs> Don't you get out? Two o'clock. <laughs> yeah. You have to have a 5 a.m. wing. Exactly. <laughs> so I didn't get sleep till half five. Sideways action, up and down. Yeah, I want your gloves, but not me in it. Watch it up, pull the skinny down. See that there? You're 100% like this. Have you got a wet up? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know like, if you washed it or not. It must just be oh, no, where I sat in. That one's been washed. Oh, is it? oh that yeah, one. That's oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> 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 I was just so excited. I feel like I wet myself. There's the intro to the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What power is it running on? What power is that on? Yeah. I had it on 45, then put it up to 50, yeah. and that was better. We're going to give it 60 now to see if like, I can you have less throttle control. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to have some throttle control, otherwise I'm going to be looping out. Yeah, I hope you've got yeah. some back fenders in stock. Yeah. <laughs> what did we go to? Two. Yeah. The races and the races. We're 50 in all of them, aren't we? Yeah, so we put it up into 60 and see if like that helps the battery. What did you want the engine braking at? Yeah, uh, exactly. However it was, 90 when it was on it. You want 90? 80. Everybody else is doing it. So if we do that on 60. Yeah. So three. Map three is that. Map three, 60. Map five. Be careful what you wish for thing. Everybody's it's so hard to get bang on that. Yeah. You have to remember to press save, otherwise you go out and you're yeah. back to the same setting. So you got 51, map 2, 55, map 3, 60. Okay. Ignore the last two. I'll try 60. How do I know which one I'm on? It comes up on the front end, doesn't it? There, look. So it's a bit Yeah, I'll try that. That's neutral. So what are you saying is better than right? Yeah, like not being like difficult, but like you go. One's fifty, two's fifty-five, three sixty. So just use them three. Sweet as we don't try it at 80 yeah? No, we'll do that later. Yeah, I'll get a grip at 80. <laughs> Might have be first back for <laughs> Yeah, just don't stand up jump thinking you're in 40. Yeah, yeah. Seat bound to it. You got, what do you want to go in once? Uh, I'll go one first, yeah. That's you're on. Regardless of all power scenario, that is one in hell of a bat. You look like unbelievable. That's the 20 photos you saved to me last night on what's on that <laughs> Instagram. He's like, oh, I'm going to be the slowest there. I told you, you get, you get competitive, you get out getting all. <laughs> I'll stick it in the to get a bit whiskey. I can't and take um, <laughs> I really, really, really want the handbrake just so you can be on your tiptoes the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Like, got just six of them don't move your feet. Right. It'd be good to come back. Be this way. Definitely, yeah. Can I be on it? Yeah. <laughs> we, have got some, we should have some of the sour one day before Christmas. <laughs> the suspension felt a bit sharper on the one. On that, on that one. So is that, was that, have you dialed that in a bit more or? Um, I think I went softer with it because it felt quite, uh, I went out on a rough day. Yeah, it was like yeah, kicking yeah. me up. Kicking, yeah. I was going to say, you'll be pretty, you'll be, what are you, 70? 70 kilos. 70, yeah. I'm 70 as well and they're all around 80, 85, yeah. so it's a good bit stiffer for us. Yeah. That feels stiff. It doesn't really, it's funny enough, the forks feel soft. 
when I'm breaking yeah. really hard, it feels like it doesn't have enough low speed on, it wants to squat exactly down. Exactly what I said, blows through the stroke too easy. I think they can do it being closed on the yeah. yeah. play with it on the charge. Yeah. 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 Things like that on a motocross bike, you don't hear it, do you? No, nah, that's weird. Guys, so you hit that hard. Is that any better? Suspension wise, yeah. I think, um, I think, yeah, just adjusting the suspension in a little is, is helpful. Now, obviously, each rider's got their own preference, but yeah. I even felt like I had more grip with the with the adjustments yeah so I, I was just doing it to try and get the balance of the bike a bit more to my liking but even in doing that uh, it, even, it even got more grip as well so i was like oh excellent you know yeah, bonus yeah. does it stay did you keep the full power all the time no i just sat it at 45 which is obviously the lowest power but it's not full power because i wanted to keep doing more laps yeah I see it's so, easier to manage as well isn't it? Well, I think for a lot of riders, probably me included, you know, if I was to ride a 250F instead of a 450, I'd probably ride a 250 better. Yeah. Because I don't need more power, I just need to yeah. concentrate on better technique and, you know, better cornering and, you know, mostly technique, I'd say. Yeah. But, um, so I think in having it, let's like, say, the 60 horsepower, I love it because it feels powerful. Everyone's looking for more and better and the best, you know. So. To do a few laps at 60 was 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 super, let's say, rewarding in the fun factor, but um, I think that stands to reason you're going to use more battery, and I can probably ride better myself in a lower power mode and get more laps out the battery. So I was kind of looking for efficiency, you know, like a bit better in myself, a little bit easier power, and more laps. And obviously the, today the tracks, you know, a little bit loamy so it, it does uh you know take a little bit more power out yeah. of the out of the uh, battery oh, life yeah, i think for fun factor it's it's as high as any bike i've ridden I wish that was on camera. Oh, one little that was about the need to pump it off the track down there. No. <laughs> I've got that as well. I didn't hear you. Honestly, I did not hear you. Next thing you're there, I'm like, ah! You better go straight. <laughs> it is. You keep trying to race me every time it pulls on the front. I'm like, no, absolutely not. That's so painful. <laughs> and there's like half it's drinks insane, in a few spots. Yeah. So that would actually take your head off. Yeah. I did it to me all the way down here. Like, they've been at me three times. It's like a fire hose, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, like, Speed Eagle. And because yeah. you don't have no sound, the sound of my helmet yeah, yeah. is just like, it's like something threw a rock at me. I think it hurts more because you don't have the noise and the vibration. Because you can yeah, hear it. The noise you lose man when it's you can hear it hurt. When you see you land, on one bike. when you see you land and then you get on the power, the amount that it kicks up though is like twice as much as what even the whole yeah. Even for me, turning off a three, it feels easier yeah. to like let it, the front wheel start to turn off the lip. And one of them, one of them scrubs over that first one over there, you literally barely came off the floor. Yeah. Like you barely got over the lamp. Like all of the them, but I don't even yeah. know why. Because it's not like you're, you're fully cranked, it's just like, I don't know, like the way it pushes through. I don't know, you're pretty cranked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel like it. Might not be full, but it's pretty close. <laughs> See what I mean? 
how much yeah, the you roof should get when it Look. Mate, he was flat over that. Yeah. <laughs> That's mad. That's insane. What did you uh, think of the bike in the end? Honestly, like it's not even comparable to a dirt bike. Like the power, the no clutch, the no gear. It's, it's something completely unique. But I actually really liked it, and it is so much faster than a normal bike. It's easier to ride because you don't have a clutch, you don't have gears, so like once you get past that it's, it's actually really really nice to ride. I um, I took the engine braking down so I think I went to 30 on that and then uh, I rode most of the day on the 60, the 60 horsepower which I found was fast but controllable. The 80 is <laughs> just stupid. <laughs> Obviously there's been a lot of hype about these bikes, so obviously got the invite, it was a no-brainer, it was good, definitely gonna come down and I'm definitely blown away. I had super high expectations of the bike anyway, and I guess the, the company Stark have kind of set that up for themselves. They've, they've made a lot of bold claims with this bike, so people are definitely keen to find out if it's true or not. Power, handling, absolutely incredible. I have no complaints. Again, I'm not a professional rider, but that stuff is absolutely mega. Yeah, perfect day. Great weather, great company, amazing products. What did, what did you end up on? power wise so I tried pretty much all the power settings on the bike. I started at, I think, 45 and went all the way up to 60 and maybe even 65. I uh, had no interest in trying 80. It was, I, I know fine well, that's well at my book. It's funny for a laugh and a bit of like a, oh my God, that's insane. But as far as rideability goes, I found that 60, 65 was, was kind of my limit. And especially with the traction on this track as well, it's a nice uh, tacky clay dirt. So it was just, as soon as it hooks up, that power is plenty enough. So yeah, good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so the track's been absolutely perfect today. Um, so we tried them on a on a fair day, you know, where I've ridden the track like this on my motocross bike, and so I know the feel of the track. And uh, I couldn't believe my first thought getting on one as I rode off was this actually feels like a motocross bike, which is not what I expected. I honestly thought it was going to feel like. Uh, an e-mountain bike or you know a little bit too bicycly you know but it's not it, it feels straight away like a motocross bike the way it's balanced and sits and all that is really really good i was well impressed with that um, i just had a bit of a play in the car park at first just to sort of feel the power and turn and yeah it just felt felt nice then you yeah, know went went out on track or put some kit on and went out on track and within a lap i i was a bit hesitant over the jumps at first because the, the biggest difference is when you rev it in the air the back wheel under no load spins up so fast that it, it wheelies in the air you know like you if you like when you panic rev a motocross bike it wheelies really quick and that was the only thing that kind of made me a bit nervy at first but once i got used to that it just felt like a motocross bike apart from didn't have to worry about clutch didn't have to worry about changing gear so i could actually concentrate more on like what i was doing you know where my hands are where my elbows are like how i'm going through the turns where i'm on the throttle and not on the throttle so it's a good thing for for learning stuff i think for a motocross rider it'd be a really good training bike especially if you've got somewhere private you can go and ride it where you don't want to wind people up with the noise it would be a really good training bike for that i started off with about 45 horsepower and then that didn't really feel like enough so i went to 50 that felt nice 60 was probably the best it, it blew me away how smooth and how fast it was and and how controllable it was i did have a little go at the end with maximum horsepower 80 horsepower and that was just ridiculous i made, made my eyes water i could not hang on to the thing like it just went and went and went and went and went and just yeah like if you think a 450 or something that's fast like this is like double that it is ridiculous too much but still fun you know it's rideable but you wouldn't want to ride for long like that but around the 60 horsepower mark i found it to be realistic 
fast but controllable and smooth and yeah it was really good fun i mean a little bit of me almost didn't want to like it but i did it was it was a good bike really good bike i can't moan about anything else